Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today, I am wearing Alia by John Renault in the color 27MB. Let's get started. Alia is a straight style. It's very classic. It's timeless. It's got just a little bit of layering. It has great movement. It is one of those everyday styles, definitely a workhorse wig. The cap on Alia, this is a lace front, full monofilament top. It has the velvet covered ear tabs with metal stays, velvet covered extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and then otherwise it's the open machine sewn wefts. It is very comfortable, it is stretchy. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head and this cap fits me very well. I do have a wig grip on today because I knew that I would be getting my hands in there and really messing with it because this has a mono top. So you can part this wherever you want and it gives you that great scalp appearance. Part it right down the middle or to the other side. But if I wanted to fix this and not mess with it, I don't even think I would have to wear a wig grip. This cap just fits very comfortably and it doesn't seem to move around or I never have to worry about it. The measurements on Alia, the bang is listed at nine inches. The crown is 10 and a half and these sides are eight and then the nape is five. So there is just a little bit of layering kind of right along the bottom. And it gives it that little bit of flip up. But it also allows you to kind of give it a little bit of style. Instead of it just being a straight blunt bob, it, it gives it just a little bit of of style, a little bit of pizzazz. And Alia weighs 3.6 ounces. It's super light. I feel like the average weight of most wigs is right around four ounces. So it's just a little under that and it feels like nothing on your head. It is so light. And you can see my measurements on the screen and so that will give you an idea of where this falls on me and then you take your measurements and that way you have some sort of idea of what this would look like on you. The permatease and hair fibers on Alia, there is a light coating of permatease all over. It's not thick, it's not pillowy, it's not going to help you with any styling or volume. It's just there, I would say, to kind of protect those wefts so that as you're moving your head or the wind blows, you don't have to worry about tracks showing. It's just a light coating. It doesn't do anything for the density. I mean, when you put your hand right here, you feel all the way to your cap. It's just very minimal permatease. The hair fibers on Alia are typical John Renault hair fibers. If you're familiar, they're very silky and light. I would say the diameter, the, the denier of them is maybe fine to medium. It is very low density. It looks super natural. There are some flyaway hairs. I've had this style for quite a while and just haven't reviewed it yet, but I do believe that when I first got it, I applied some steam right here in the front to get this up and off my face because when you get it, it's very straight and very flat, but it's got that great lace front and that mono top, so I knew that I was gonna have my hands in there. So I'm pretty sure that I steamed it a little bit to get it up and off my face. Today, when I took it out and I shook it and I put it on, it had fallen some. So I took some contour cream and I just put a little bit on the tips of actually both hands, rubbed it together, warmed up that contour cream, and then got it in there and just applied it to the hair fibers. And once I got some weight on those hair fibers, then I was able to kind of manipulate it and it tamed down some of those flyaways. With these 
straight silky styles I always have that issue of them kind of like sticking straight out or like one rogue one just right down the middle of my face and you guys I just pull those out I don't waste a bunch of time trying to figure out where they're at and get them back in their place just pull those hairs out you'll be chasing those hairs constantly if you don't just get rid of them the color I chose is 27MB, my favorite John Renault color. It is that subtle light red color. John Renault does this color beautifully. It's not a dull light red color. It has some vibrance, some brightness to it. It is just so pretty and so natural looking. I love this color. Okay, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements, the color, the permatease and the hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Alia is I feel like this is kind of an underrated style. I bought this from a live wig sale that the Beauty Nook puts on every Friday night. And when Leanne put this on her head, I'm like, where, where did that come from? What is that? I feel like if you like Kristen or Christy or Cameron, that this is like the mature sister style to those wigs. This one has a little bit of layering down here and it, it's just a really great classic timeless piece. And I know that I've probably said that a couple times during this review, but that's what comes to mind when I see this. Kristen was one of the first five wigs that I ever bought and I loved it, but mine did have visible permatease and I couldn't get past it. So I gifted that to somebody and I always thought that I would get Christy as the replacement and then I just never did. When Leanne showed this one in her live, I'm like, that's it. That's the style that I want because I do like this little bit of layering. I mean, I love a good classic bob, but I, I do like kind of the flippy ends or it can curl under. The other thing about the style that I like is the length. I like that it's just a little bit longer and it, it's a little bit lower in density. Like it, it's very natural looking, I feel like. Okay guys, so this has been Alia by John Renault in the color 27MB. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you think about the style. And if you haven't, tell us more about it. Just don't